Hello and welcome to Babli. In this video, we are going to talk about the most trending social media platform, which is Twitter. So let's discuss the top 10 Twitter automations where we are going to discuss how you can integrate Twitter with different applications using Pabli Connect. Here I'm going to take example of the most trending topics on our website, like how you can post new tweets from Twitter to Telegram, post new tweets from Google Sheets, instantly send affiliate links through Telegram to Twitter, how to auto post on social media when you have a social media calendar and you have integrated it with Google Sheets. Share blogger posts to Twitter automatically, post Instagram media to Twitter and similarly Facebook media to different social media platforms. Now all these templates that we have here, all these integrations that we have here are really very interesting and very helpful. If you are looking for some specific integration, you can always write to us or there's a huge library there on the website. You can always check that out. Now let's not waste any time. Here I'm going to take you to my screen where we are going to discuss all these integrations step by step. So let's start. Hello everyone. So welcome back to Public Connect. In this video, we will learn how to post new tweets from Twitter to Telegram. So imagine this, you are an active Twitter RT. You tweet a lot and you have a ton of followers on your Twitter account. At the same time, you also have a Telegram group with a ton of followers. So the usual approach is, you make a tweet. After that, when the tweet is posted, you copy that tweet and paste the same tweet on your Telegram group for your Telegram followers. Now lately, you have started to realize that this process is actually very repetitive and tiresome. So how about you bring in some automation so that whenever there is a new tweet posted by you on your Twitter account, the same tweet will be posted on your Telegram group automatically. Now the problem here is there is no active connection between Twitter and Telegram. So in cases like these, we have to bring an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that will integrate Twitter and Telegram. The best part of using this process is a person without any technical background can perform this integration very easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Okay, so as you can see, this is my Twitter account and I'm going to publish a new post. And this post is on the integration between WhatsApp and Google Sheets. Also, I have added the link of that particular video. Okay. Now, what will happen if I press on tweet is that once the tweet get published on my Twitter channel, the same tweet will be available in my telegram group okay so let us check will that be possible so let me just click on tweet okay so a new tweet has been made a new integration video between whatsapp and google sheets published okay and this is the video link now uh, this is my telegram group let me just refresh to check do we have uh, the same details of the tweet let me just refresh this again Okay, so this is basically the same message that we had posted on Twitter and this is now available as a message on our Telegram group. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Twitter to Telegram? Okay, so you are going to send the data from Twitter to Telegram in just three easy steps. We have step one that is connect Public Connect to Twitter account. Okay, so obviously you are going to log into Public Connect and afterwards you are going to integrate Twitter and Public Connect. Then we have step two, collect the data from Twitter to Public Connect. So you're going to make a tweet. The details of that particular tweet will be captured in Public Connect. Now we have step three, send the same data to Telegram to publish the message. So the details of the tweet or the tweet itself will be used to create a post or a message in Telegram. The integration is very easy. Let me show you the details. Okay, so to begin the process in the new tab, just type pabli.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y.com, pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli.com. All you have to do is just hover on products and here you will find connect. Just simply click on connect. Okay, so this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can create your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already created an account. So when I click here, I will be brought to the app section of Pabli. So this is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm planning to give it as Twitter, Twitter to Telegram. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. And let me just straight away click on create. 
So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Now obviously I want to first send the data from Twitter to Pabli Connect. So that is why in the choose app, I'm just going to select it as Twitter. Twitter it is. Okay, so we are going with Twitter. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new tweet. Now that's pretty much obvious. Okay, so as you can see, my Twitter account is already open. Basically, I have already logged into my Twitter account. So what we are going to do here is we are just going to integrate Twitter to Pabli Connect. So let me just straight away click on connect. We are going with a new connection. Just click on connect with Twitter. Okay, so now Pabli Connect is asking access to my Twitter account. So before you click on authorize, let me tell you something. Pabli Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. On the basis of that trust, let me just press authorize our app. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Brilliant. So what's next? So when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch me the data of the of a tweet from my Twitter profile. Okay. When I click on save and send test request, it will fetch me the data of a tweet that is present in my profile. It can be any random tweet, but it will just send a message. It will basically send a message that our integration is successful. Okay. It will fetch one of the tweets from my Twitter profile in Pabli Connect. Okay. So let me just click on save and send test request. Okay. So as you can see, this is the text. Okay. So this is the text and this is the tweet that we had worked on earlier. Okay. Not the recent tweet. This is some old tweet. Okay. It is showing some old tweet that was tweeted some, some ages back. Okay. So why it is important because it is now showing that we have an integration between our Twitter profile and Pabli Connect. So this is the tweet 10 plus best subscription management and something. So let's explore, which is that tweet. Okay, so I think this is that tweet. Okay, this is the tweet that we had made, made several ages ago, several time ago. So this is that tweet. So we have got that detail. Now you don't have to worry because uh, everything will happen in real time because when you will tweet uh, after building this workflow, it will be automatically be available in public in tweet in your telegram channel. Okay, for the moment, it is only showing the old tweet that you had made several time several ages back. Okay, so what's next? So what we are going to do here is we are want we want to send this data to telegram. Okay, so basically we are building a workflow. So that is why we are going to send this message to telegram. Okay, now we know that this is obviously an old tweet, but do not panic, we will be working, we will be having the real tweet in your telegram channel after this workflow is built. Okay, so now we plan to send the same data to our telegram channel. So in the action window, obviously, we are going to select telegram. Okay, because we want to create a message on telegram okay now in the action event how about we make it as send text message or a reply html and let me just straight away click on connect okay so we are going with a new connection and in the new connection we have to enter the token so these are the instructions that we have to follow so let us begin with uh, dealing with bot father so this is the bot father and what we are going to do here is uh, here we are going to create a new bot so this is the code to create a new bot, but if you are familiar with Telegram, obviously I don't have to tell you that, but this is the code and we have added it here. Okay, so it will now show. Okay, so now it is saying, all right, a new bot, how are we going to call it? So I'm going to give a random name, how about uh, Pabli 890 something, Pabli 890, that would be good. Okay, Pabli 890, that will be name. Okay, so uh, now we have to give a username to this bot. So how about we give it as Pabli 890 underscore BOT. So let's check if this bot name is available. Yes, the bot name is available and that is why it has returned the token. So we are just going to copy this token and afterwards I'm just going to paste it here. So easy. And let me just straight away click on save. So when you click on save, we have a chat ID, text message, disable notification and disable link previews. Let's start with the chat ID. So uh, here's the problem with Telegram. Uh, the new version of the Telegram doesn't allow uh, the group to be added, a new group to be created from the web version. So this is the web version and the new version of uh, this Telegram channel doesn't allow uh, to create a new group. So that is why we are going to deal with uh, the app version. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new group in my telegram uh, channel in, in my telegram group uh, in the app okay so this is the app version okay and i'm going to create a new group okay so how about we give the name to this group or oh, before that let me just click on the three 
horizontal line and let me just click on new group and I'm going to give the group name as uh, automation 101 so this is the group name automation 101 now the reason I'm doing this is because the web version of telegram doesn't allow you to create a group okay so that is why we are going with the app version so let me add some uh, people to this uh, particular group okay and uh, I have added some of them and let me just straight away click on create so a new group called as automation 101 has been created with six members excellent okay so the next step will be we are going to add our newly created pod to this particular channel this particular group so let me just, just click on these three vertical dots and let me just click on view group info and uh, we are going to add new member so let me just click on add member and the name of our bot was something pably 890 something okay so this is the bot okay we have selected it and let me just click on add so now we have seven members excellent because the bot has been added now we are going to grant him admin privileges so let me just uh, let me just right click here so this is the bot pably 890 and i'm just going to click on promote to admin okay after that i'm just going to type admin okay so this will promote this particular bot to admin and let me just click on save okay so let's check whether the same guy has been added or given the admin privileges yes as you can see it is now the admin okay it is showing ed edit admin rights so this guy this our newly created bot is the admin so let me just cancel this okay so now we are ready okay so what's next so let me just minimize uh, the app version okay and this is the channel autom this is the group automation 101 so basically it is now demanding the chat id so for message to a private channel we have to use minus 100 and these characters okay we have to use these characters okay let me just copy this afterwards let me just paste it here okay and afterwards let me just add 100 minus 100 okay so we have added the chat id now how about the text message now we want the text message now if you're familiar this is the tweet that we had made okay so this is the tweet that we had uh, i had made several ages ago so this is the random tweet that it is showing so we want this detail here now remember this this is something i have told you earlier do not panic okay do not panic that this is showing some old tweet some random tweet not the recent one but once the workflow is made because once the workflow is made doesn't matter which tweet uh, doesn't matter when you tweet it will be automatically sh will be shown in real time on your telegram group okay so at present i'm just going to add the text message okay so this was that that tweet okay and uh, in the case of disable notification let me just keep it as no in the disable link preview let me just keep it as no so when i click on save and send test request okay so it will show a positive response and as you can see we have uh, the tweet okay as a message in telegram excellent so it was made by this bot that is pably 890 so my idea my point is very clear okay now if you are going to tweet if you are going to make a tweet that tweet will be made available in pably connect in your telegram channel now remember this uh, there will be a gap of five six minutes between the tweet and the message appearing on your telegram channel this is because uh, Twitter takes some significant amount of time to send the data. Okay, so it's not an issue with public connect. Now, before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrate a Twitter to public connect and then you integrate a public connect to Telegram. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Twitter and Telegram. Awesome. Hello, everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to post new tweets from Google Sheets. So let's take an example that you run a software company and you are creating softwares on daily basis and you are making the announcements for those softwares. Now you and your team are maintaining a Google Sheet for the new softwares and related announcements along with the date. Now you want that your announcements should be automatically posted on Twitter from the Google Sheets every day and you don't want to post them manually. This will be useful when you are not available, say uh, for a week, for a particular piece of work and you want your announcements related to the softwares should not be stopped. So here in this use case, we want that whatever the data we are having in the Google Sheets, it should be used and automatically a post should be created on Twitter. So here we have one problem that there is no direct connection between Google Sheets and Twitter. So how to do this? 
as a solution we are going to use Pabli Connect. So basically Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Google Sheets with Twitter. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can do this in few simple steps. So let us check this in the real time. So this is my Google Sheet and this is my Twitter account. I want that whatever the content I have uh, arranged it over here, automatically this content should be published on my Twitter account on this particular date. Okay. So now let us check whether our Twitter has received any message over there or not. So yes, here we can see tired of cross-checking the amount, dues and sending payment reminders on WhatsApp again and again. So the same message which we have pasted over here, tired of cross-checking the amount, dues and sending payment reminders on WhatsApp again and again. The same message, the same content is posted on my Twitter account also. Okay. So here you might be wondering that how did I manage to send the data from my Google Sheet to my Twitter account automatically. So let me tell you, I have done this in just three simple steps. And anyone can do this very easily. So here at step one, connect Pabli Connect to Google Sheets. So first we have to connect Pabli Connect with the Google Sheets. At step two, collect the, collect the data from Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So at step two, we have to collect the data from the Google Sheets. Pabli Connect is going to capture the data from Google Sheets. At step three, send the same data to Twitter as a new tweet. So we uh, Pabli Connect is going to send the same data which ha it has captured from Google Sheets. The same data will be sent to the Twitter account as a new tweet. So we are going to learn the integration process now. For this, let us type P A B B L Y Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on connect. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I'll just click on sign in. Here in the all apps section, we have to scroll down, come to connect and click on access now. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to click on this plus sign, create workflow. Now it is asking us to give a workflow name. So let us give the workflow name as Google Sheets to Twitter and you can give the workflow name as per your requirement also. I am just giving it as Google Sheets to Twitter and let's click on create. Now it has taken us to a trigger and an action window. So you might be thinking what is this trigger and what is this action? So let me tell you, Pabli Connect works on the concept of triggers and actions. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want that using the data of Google Sheets, automatically a new tweet should be added in our, into our Twitter account. And it should be on a particular basis. So we have to schedule it. So in the trigger window, we are going to select the application name as schedule by Pabli. So now we can see how often you want to run your workflow. When do you want to run your workflow? So we want the workflow if you want to select at regular intervals you can select this. If you want to run just once you can select this. I want that it should run every day. Okay. So I am selecting this option. Now it is asking for the time. So I want the time to be uh, say 7 am in the morning. And I'll just click on save. Uh, before saving, I'll just inform you that we have to insert the time in the UTC format. So now I am giving it as IST format uh, just for the first time. And when we will be running this workflow in the real time, I will be giving the time in the UTC uh, format. Okay, and let's click on save. Now, in the action window, we have to select Google Sheets because we want the data to be captured from Google Sheets. So let us select Google Sheets. In the action event, we have to select get rows. It will retrieve the rows from the sheet based on the specified range. Okay. So we have to select this and click on connect. 
Now we have to click on add new connection and connect with Google Sheets. So here you have to choose an account where you have already created your Google Sheets. So I'm just selecting my account. It is asking for the access. I'll just give away the access. Let's click on continue as the data is 100% safe with Pavlik Connect. And now it is showing as connected. Here we can, we have to select the uh, spreadsheet. Then we have to select the sheet and then the range. Okay. So here we can see that Pavlik Connect has uh, captured all the uh, spreadsheets which I have created into my Google Sheet over here. Okay. So now we have to select our spreadsheet. The name of our spreadsheet is schedule post in Twitter. We have to select this over here. Let us find schedule post in Twitter. We have to select the sheet. The name of the sheet is tweet. So we are going to select this. We have sheet 2 and sheet 3 also. But I will be selecting this tweet sheet. Now we have to give the range. Okay. Here we can see the instructions also. Enter range from the enter range of the sheet. Example A2 colon D2. Okay. You can use A2 to D to get all the filled rows. Okay. So let's move to our Google Sheet. Here we can see the starting column and starting row is A2. So I'll be selecting this complete data. We have the data till column A2 to B7. I'll just copy this. I'll go to public connect and I will be just pasting it over here. Okay. This is useful when I am having the data till column 7th row only. Okay. Column B and row 7. But say I have the data till 100 columns or 1000 columns. So how will I select this? In that case, I will be just erasing this 7. Okay. Of the second row. So the starting row and column will be, will be A2. But the last filled row would will not be uh, identified over here. Okay. It will be capturing all the data which is filled in column B. Now we have to click on save and send test request. So here we can see the response is received and Google Sheet data is over here. Okay. See the first uh, po uh, post which we want to create was are you spending a lot of time in writing SMS manually on your phone. So this is fetched over here. Are you spending a lot of time. Okay. This is fetched over here row 1, row 2, row 3. So uh, Babli Connect has captured the data row wise. So what I want, I want this data to be into the array format so that all the data should be captured all together. So what I will be doing, I will just click on this simple response. I will be enabling this to advanced response. Okay. And again, I will be clicking on save and send test request. Now here we can see the response result is in the array format. Okay. All the data is clubbed over here. So by clicking on this get row option, Whatever the data we have in Google Sheet, say 1000 rows or 10,000 rows, we will get that data into this array format. So, if we will not select the data in the array format, what will happen? Only the first row data will be sent to the Twitter account and the remaining data will not be sent. So, to send all the data, in uh, which whatever is there in the sheet, we have to get the data into this array format. Okay. Now, in the next step, we want to segregate this data into the row format. So, what we will be doing, we have to click on this plus sign. A new action window will be created over here. And in the action application, we are going to select iterator. Okay, let us select iterator. Here, we have to choose the array. It is the response result. We have to select this and we have to click on save and send test request. The response is received. Now, this time we can see that iterator has segregated the data. Okay. It will set the array format into the row format. Here we can see only the second row data is fetched. Okay. See the second row data. Are you spending a lot of time in writing SMS? This data is fetched over here. So iterator has segregated the data into the row format. Okay. Now I will set the current date on which particular date I want to retrieve this data. Okay. So again, we have to click on this plus sign in the action application. We have to select the application name as date and time formatter. In the action event, we are going to select current date. Now let us click on connect. Here we can find the basic format and include time and response. 
so uh, you can find that we have the date in the format of mm dd and yy that is month date and year so i will be selecting this format only let's move to public connect and here let us select the format as mm dd and yy now do you want to include the time and response no i don't want to include i'll just click on save and send test request here we can see the response is received and the current date is fetched over here that is 5th 25th of september 2021 now we have got the current date okay and we have the date here in the sheet also on which date this particular post should be published on twitter account so what i will be doing i will be comparing both these dates the current date and the date present in the sheet for this let us scroll down come to this plus sign add application and in the action step we are going to select the application name as filter by pabli here we have to select the label filter type and value here in the label we have to select the date that we have got from iterator okay this will be the google sheet date okay we are selecting the google sheet date which uh, now in the filter type we have to select is equal to and in the value we have to select uh, current date okay so i'll be explaining you current date we have got it from date and time formatter so now what filter is going to do it will be comparing both the dates whether the date which is present in the google sheet this date 25th of september this date is equal to the current date okay and let us click on save and send test request here we can see the response is received and the condition is true means both the dates are matching each other both of them are same this google sheet date as well as the current date but in case if the google sheet date does not matches with the current date then the message will be reflecting it as condition is false and this workflow will not run on that particular day means no data will be posted from the google sheet to twitter account okay it will match the date and if the date matches only then the content will be picked from uh, this google sheet and it will be posted to twitter now let's move to public connect now we want to send the data to twitter so we'll just click on this plus sign add application in the action application we are going to select the application name as twitter and in the action event we have to select create tweet now let us click on connect here we have to click on add new connection and connect with twitter as i have already logged into my twitter account it is asking for the authorization authorize public connect to access your account so i'll just click on authorize app authorization successful okay now it is asking for the message what message you want to post so we have to select the message uh i'll just go to google sheet back and the message was are you send, spending a lot of time in writing sms this message is uh, separated by iterator i'll just show you once again here so we want to send this message basically we have to map the details of this message now okay which we have got from iterator so i'll be will be moving to twitter again okay and in the message i will be selecting the message this content now let us click on save and send test request now here we can see the response is received now let us check our twitter account whether we have received the same message uh, over there or not okay i'll just refresh this and yes here we can see are you spending a lot of time in writing sms spam will you on your phone the same message is posted over here along with the link okay see the message from here are you spending a lot of time in writing sms the same message is posted into the twitter account also okay now let us move to public connect once again and save this workflow first now we have seen that on 25th of september that this workflow has run and it has captured the data from our google sheet and it has posted into the twitter account okay now again as we have set into the schedule it will be running every day so again on 26th the same workflow will run it will check the data into the google sheet 
and if the date matches again it is going to pay, uh, post the uh, date, data the content into the twitter account now let us check this workflow in the real time okay as i have already informed you that here we have to insert the time in utc format see in the instruction also it is mentioned please insert the time in the utc format okay so for the first time we have given the random time but now for checking into the real time i am changing the time into the utc format so let us check the time now i'll just go to you uh, google and check the utc time right now it is 10:15 am okay so i will be setting a message at 10:17 am i'll just go to my pabli connect and here i will be selecting the time as 10:17 am and i'll just save it schedule successfully okay i'll just go to my twitter account and i'll just erase this post because it will be a duplicate post i'm just erasing this post and now again i'll go to pabli connect and i'll check the time 10:17 am okay i'll check it once again now here we can see it is 10:17 am now let us check twitter whether we have received the post over here or not i'll go up and i'll refresh this page once again so yes here we can see again the same message is posted are you spending a lot of time in writing sms manually over your phone so the same message is posted over here again okay so it means that our integration is properly working fine so now let's go to public connect i'll save this workflow data saved successfully okay now i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so in this use case we want that using the data of the google sheets up automatically post should be created into our twitter account okay for this we have used a scheduler by which a particular post will be scheduled at a particular time on daily basis every day basis okay so we have used iterator here which will help us in setting the array uh, of the data which we have got from the google sheets okay we have also used date and time formatter to fetch the current date and here we have used filter which will be helping in comparing the current date as well as the date of our google sheet so in this way we have created a successful integration between google sheets and twitter using public connect hello everyone and welcome back to our channel so in this video you are going to learn how to send affiliate links through telegram to various platforms like linkedin twitter and facebook automatically right so the idea here is let's say that you are running a website or any e-commerce store or any online software right so you are doing affiliate marketing to improve your business right and you share with your audience affiliate marketing links so that they can share with others and avail the benefits of affiliate marketing like cashbacks or commissions or any offer that you want to provide them so for doing that you have created a telegram group and a facebook page a twitter handle and a linkedin account and all those social medias you want to share the affiliate marketing links with your followers and customers now to get this done you have two ways one is that that if when you want to share the affiliate marketing uh, link to the to the people who are in your telegram group you come to telegram group and manually compile a message for your audience here in telegram then you come to facebook page and type the same process the same post here and provide the link to your facebook followers then you come to twitter and do the same process type the same message and post it here as a new tweet for your twitter followers then you come to linkedin and type the same post and process and provide the affiliate marketing link to your linkedin followers but guys this process is pretty lengthy and consume a lot of your crucial time so we have a better way for you what if i tell you that the post that you have created and sent here in a telegram group the same post get automatically delivered here on facebook page and the same post get automatically delivered here as a new tweet on twitter handle and the same post with your affiliate marketing link can also get delivered here on linkedin as a new post automatically and simultaneously yes guys this can happen and to make this happen i am using a software here called as pabli connect 
So guys, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software and what it will do, it will connect all these four applications together such that whenever you post a new post here in your Telegram group, the same post get automatically transferred here to the Facebook page, the Twitter handle and to the LinkedIn account, right? And the best part of making this automation guys is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So any non-technical person can also make this automation easily. Now guys, let me give you a demo on my screen of how this connection or automation between all these applications is going to work in real time. So guys, this is my computer screen and here I have uh, opened the uh, my Telegram web and you can see we have this group here, Affiliate Marketing Group. So in this group, I post the offers and the affiliate marketing links for the members who have joined this group so that they can get the benefits of uh, affiliate marketing and I can get more registered users on my website, right? So uh, I post regularly here the links of affiliate marketing and I want that the same link or post that I, po I mention or send here in this group uh, will be sent here in the my Twitter account as well, my LinkedIn account and my Facebook page as well. Okay, so I want this to happen simultaneously. So let me show you how it's going to happen. So here I'm going to uh, compile a message for the group members, right? So this is a kind of message I am going to send. So you can see I have typed this message. We will send 20% cashback for every person who sign up on our website through your affiliate link. So this is a limit period, a limited period offer. Here is your link. So I have attached an affiliate link for our marketers here in this group, right? So I'm going to send this message here. Okay. So I want that this same post or message is going to be delivered in my Twitter page, my LinkedIn page and Facebook page as well. Let's check if we got the same post here on uh, other platforms also. So you can see we got the same post here in my Twitter page, uh, Twitter account as well, right? You can see we will send 20% cash back for every person who sign up on our website through your affiliate link. Okay, let's check in my LinkedIn also. So let me refresh this. Okay, so we got a new post here also, which I have sent in Telegram. It is saying we will send 20% cash back and this is the affiliate link. Okay, same thing. Let's check in Facebook page as well. Okay, let me refresh this page also. And here you can see the same post is here also. We will send 20% cash back for every person who sign up on our website through your affiliate link. And this is the affiliate link. Okay, so this is how it is going to work in real time. Now you guys are wondering how I managed to bring this post here in Facebook page as well as on LinkedIn and as well as on Twitter account as well without any manual compilation or typing of this lengthy message just by sending the message once on this Telegram group, right? So now let me give you the easiest possible steps by which you can also make this automation or connection and automate this whole process that I have shown you. So guys, these are the three easy steps by which you can also make this integration or automation between these applications, okay? So step one is connect Pabli Connect to Telegram group, okay? So first of all, we are going to open Pabli Connect and connect our Telegram group with Pabli Connect. Step two is collect the data from Telegram in Pabli Connect. So in second step, we'll bring the data from Telegram group to here in Pabli Connect. And step three is send the same data to Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So the data or the post we have captured here in Pabli Connect, we are going to send the same data to Facebook page, Twitter handle, and LinkedIn account simultaneously, right? So let's do this. So in your internet browser type here P-A-B-B-L-Y that is pavli.com. So this is the landing page of Pavli. From here, put your cursor on this products icon and click on connect. Okay, now you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes by clicking here on sign up free button. So I have already made one free account, so I'm going to click on sign in directly. So now 
from this all apps section of Pavli, you have to come to this Pavli connect panel and click on access now. So this will bring you to the dashboard of Pavli connect and to start working here, you have to create workflows like these. Okay. So to create a workflow, just click here on create workflow button. And here you have to enter a relevant name to your workflow. So let me fill the name. So I have filled the name as affiliate marketing from telegram group to Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. Okay. Now I'm going to click on create here and the workflow is created. So as and when your workflow get created, you will see these two things, the trigger and the action. So public connect work on these two things. The trigger says when this happens, action says public connect, please do this. All right. As an over use case, the trigger would be a new post on the telegram group and the action would be to send the same post or the affiliate marketing link to Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn, right? So first of all, you have to click on this trigger window and from this choose app, you have to choose your application as telegram bot, this one. After this, click on this trigger events and select this set webhooks or watch updates. Then click on connect here. And from here, select this add new connection. And then it will ask for this token. So you have to generate a token from telegram. So it take a few minutes. So bear with me. Let me tell you how to do this. So you can re read this whole thread of text. So it will guide you. So you have to go to your telegram web first and then you have to search for this bot father. So let me show you this. So this is my telegram web here in the search bar search for bot father. Okay, so click on this uh, blue ticked bot father link. Right. So from here you have to create a bot first. So to create a bot, you can see here, you have to send this message to bot father slash new bot. Okay. So I'm typing here slash new bot. So it is asking, all right, a new bot, how are we going to call it? So here you have, it is asking for a name to your bot. So you can give the name according to you. So I am giving the name as affiliate new bot okay so it is saying good now let's choose a username for your bot and it must end in bot like this so it have given the example so now it is time to give a username of to our bot and should it should be like this it should end like this bot bot right so let's enter a name so i'm giving the name as affiliate new underscore two underscore bot. Okay. Right. Now you can see we have uh, generated a new bot. It is saying done. Congratulations on your new bot and you will find it at this link. So you, we will find the bot here in this link when you click here and it has it given us this token. Okay. So you have to use this token copy this token and paste it here in Pabli connect in this token field. But before that, what you have to do, you have to make this affiliate bot that you have generated. Let me open this. This is affiliate new bot. So you have to make this bot the admin of the group that you are managing. Okay. So to do that, you have to, you uh, see I am using telegram web here. So I don't I cannot make this affiliate new bot admin right now but you can do this uh, from your cell phone or, or your smartphone. Okay. So I have already made a uh, created a bot before and I'm using that bot as an admin to my group. So I am using the API token of that bot. So this is the bot that we have generated affiliate one bot. So I'm using this token here, right? And I'm going to paste it here in this token field. And I'm going to click on save and you will see it start showing connected. Okay. So first step is completed. We have connected with the telegram. Now it is time to bring the data from telegram to here in Pavli connect. 
so when i click here on save and send test request you will see uh, it started showing waiting for the response okay now when i post something on my group the data is going to be captured here so i'm going to my telegram group this is my group here and let us uh, post a new update or new information so i'm posting it like this so okay so let me tweak it a little bit so we are going to send 15 percent cash back for every person who is going to sign up on our website through your affiliate link affiliate link and this offer this of this offer is valid valid for today only okay right so this is a kind of post now i am going to post it here in telegram group right like this so it is posted here now let's check in public connect if it has captured the data so you can see the data is captured here like this okay so our first two steps are completed now it is time for our next step so uh, let me show you the so our next and the final steps are send the same data to facebook twitter and linkedin so the data of the post that we have captured here in public connect from telegram group group we are going to send the same post on facebook page twitter handle and linkedin account okay so let's do this so now in public connect click on the section window and let us attach our Facebook page first. So from this Facebook, uh, from this choose app, choose your application as Facebook, Facebook. So this is, this is Facebook pages option. Select this. Okay. And in this action event, select this create page post option, then click on connect. And from this window, click on add new connection, then click on connect with Facebook pages. Okay, so you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected here. And now it will ask for which on which page you want to post this post. So my my page is this Pavli Tech. Okay, so I have to select this page from here. So it is showing a list of all the pages that I have in uh, Facebook. So I can find the, my page from here only. So this is Pavli Tech page. Select this page. Okay, so the page access token is generated and uh, here it is asking the message that we want to send on the Facebook page as a new post. So you just have to map the message that you got from telegram group. So this is the message we got, right? So you just have to map this message from here. No need to type anything. Click here on this message field, click on telegram bot option and map this message from here only. And here in this link URL, you will get the uh, link of the marketing or affiliate marketing link which is here let me show you oh so okay so the link is in the message uh, only you can see so um, let's say so the link is already in the message so we do not need to refill it in the link url so this is not a compulsory field so we can leave it blank okay now when i click here on save and send test request this data will be delivered as a new post on our facebook page okay so let me click here and you can see it created a post id here right and let's check if it is posted here so let me refresh the page Okay, you can see we will send 15% cash back for every person. This offer is valid for today only. This is a new post that we have sent from Pavli Connect, right? You can see this is the message text that is posted here. So our connection with Facebook page is working correctly, right? Now let's connect other social media handles. Click on this plus icon. And from this choose app, choose the application. Let's say connect Twitter first. Twitter Beta, this one. And in this action event, select uh, create tweet option. Then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection and then click on connect with Twitter. Okay, so now it is asking for the permission to post. 
so give the permission click on authorize app okay so the authorization is successful and start showing connected and the message field is appearing here so here you have to follow the same process which is to map the message we got from the telegram group here in this first step right so you just have to map this message so click on this message field click on telegram bot option and map the message right now when i click here on save and send test request this post will be delivered on the twitter handle okay so i'm clicking here and started showing this type of response and it is showing created at this date and time so let's check in twitter handle okay let me refresh it and the post is here okay as a new tweet we will send 15 percent cash back for every person and here is the affiliate link so the connection with twitter is also working fine now let's connect our linkedin page a linkedin account also so i'm clicking on this plus icon and from this action window choose linkedin so linkedin this one and in the section events select this share an article or url click here then click on connect then click on add new connection and then click on connect with linkedin and here it is asking for uh, okay so it is asking to log in to your uh, linkedin account so here you have to enter the password and click on sign in okay so you can see the authorization is successful here, here and it started showing connected that means we are connected with our link, linkedin account as well okay so this is the accounts order or the person who have the account and it is asking for the content so you just have to map the content no worries okay so to find the content click on the telegram option and here you have to map the messages text so it is then it is asking the articles url and it is a required field okay so you can copy this url okay so actually it is attached in this so um, let us click here and copy this url from here and paste it here okay not this one so i have got the affiliates link so i am pasting it here manually like this okay now when i click here on save and send test request this data will be delivered on my linkedin account let's let me click here okay so it is started showing this kind of id let's check in linkedin so you can see in linkedin account also it is showing the same post that we have posted okay we will send 15 percent cash back and the link okay so our connection with linkedin is also working fine okay so our workflow is actually completed now you just have to click on save here and let me give you a quick recap what we have done here so first of all First of all, in this trigger option, we connected our Telegram group by selecting Telegram bot as the application. Then we connected Telegram and, and how to do that, I have already told you. Then we captured the data from Telegram group by posting uh, another post in the group like this. Then we connected the Facebook page, right? Then we mapped the message that we got from Telegram like this. And when I click here on save and send, the data is delivered as a new post. Similarly, we connected Twitter account and map the message. And when I click here on save and send test request, the data is delivered as a new tweet. And similarly in the LinkedIn, in this action window, we connected our LinkedIn account and map the required data, right? And when I click here, it goes on LinkedIn as a new post, right? So the workflow is completed. And let me tell you one more important thing that is you can make this workflow run 100 times in a month with the help of Pabli Connects free account because Pabli Connects free account provides you 100 free tasks for every new month so if 100 tasks are sufficient for you you can use Pabli Connect for free forever also we are going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone that in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using that instantly 
Hello everyone, this is Akib Javed. Welcome to you all on Pabli. So in this video, you are going to learn how to share blog posts from WordPress website to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter automatically. So guys, before explaining to you how we are going to do this, let me tell you why you should watch this video. So guys, if you are a content creator or a blog writer, this method is going to help you a lot. So if you opt this method that I'm going to tell you, it can save a lot of your crucial time and energy. And by saving your time and energy, you can improve your productivity, your engagement and your followers. So let me tell you what I'm going to do here. So suppose that you are a blog writer and you publish your blogs regularly here on WordPress, right? And as and when you publish a blog post here, you want to share the information or the link of that same blog to all your social media followers, right? Now to get this done, you have two ways. One is that whenever you publish a blog post here in WordPress, you want to share it with your Instagram followers. So you come to Instagram here and made a post for your Instagram follower and post it. Then you come to Facebook page and compile a same post for your Facebook page followers and post it on a Facebook page. Then you come to Twitter and share the information about the same blog post that you have published for your Twitter followers as a new tweet. And also you want to save the link of that blog for the record and you are saving it in a Google Sheet that you have. But guys, if you are making many blog posts on daily basis, this manual process can consume a lot of your time and energy and can be very problematic. So we have a better way for you. What if I tell you that as and when you publish a new blog here in WordPress, the link of that same blog get, get delivered here on Instagram for your Instagram followers and the link of that same blog and the thumbnail get delivered here on Facebook page for your Facebook followers and the link and the thumbnail of your same blog get tweeted here in your Twitter handle for your Twitter followers automatically. Yes guys, this can happen and to make this happen, I am using a software here called as Pabli Connect. So guys, Pabli Connect is an integration and automation software and what it will do, it will connect all these applications together such that whenever you publish a new blog here, that same blog, the link of that same blog get shared with all your social media accounts, right? And the best part of making this automation guys is that you will not require any coding skills or programming language. So any non-technical person can also make this automation. So now let me give you a demo on my screen of how this connection or automation between all these applications is going to work in real time. So guys, this is my computer screen and here you can see I am in my WordPress dashboard and here I create and write blogs. Okay, now I want the same blog that I post here to be shared with my Facebook followers here at this Facebook page, book review page. And I want uh, to share the blog's post, uh, the link of the blog post here also if, with my Instagram followers and with my Twitter followers here and at my Twitter handle. And I want to save the link and the uh, information about the post like this blog title, blog's link and the thumbnail link here in a Google Sheet in a spreadsheet that I have created for the record. Okay so that I can easily see what I have posted and uh, you, you know uh, to to manage my post okay so I'll show you I'm going I'm going to make a new blog post here by clicking on this post option and we will check if the same post that I have created here the list the link of that same post will be delivered here in Facebook Instagram Twitter and this spreadsheet automatically or not okay so let's uh, let me click here on post and this add new post option and from here I'm going to put the title of my post and make a short blog post here so let me do that so I have created a new blog post here. You can see it is the blog on book review, the lost symbol by Dan Brown. And I have created, uh, I have created a short blog here. And I also attached a feature 
photo here you can see like this one now I'm going to publish this blog post here in my WordPress by clicking on publish okay so you can see our blog post is getting published here so you can see in the status it is saying published so our blog post is published here now we will see in our Facebook page if it got uh, posted so you can see a new post is published here in Facebook page as well and it is showing book review the lost symbol by Dan Brown and here is the link of the same blog post that we have created okay so you can see when I click on the blogs link it will bring you to my WordPress account and the blog that I have created okay you can see we have reached my blog post like this from Facebook page right now let's check in uh, Twitter uh, on Instagram as well if we got the same uh, uh, the information about our new blog so I have refreshed my feed here so you can see we have received a new post in Instagram as well this is a kind of post and it has the title and the link of the uh, blog post right in Instagram as well now let's check in a Twitter account as well so this is a this is my profile and let's refresh this okay so you can see we got the same same thing here also right book review the lost symbol by Dan Brown okay now let's check in uh, the spreadsheet that we have where is the spreadsheet this is the spreadsheet and you can see in a new row a new blog title is here book review the lost symbol by Dan Brown the blogs link and the thumbnails link okay so this is how it is going to be done so I just I just need to uh, publish a blog here in my WordPress and the information and the link of that same blog will be there on the Facebook page on Instagram and on Twitter as well right so now you guys are wondering how I managed to bring these uh, bring this post which is here in my WordPress here at Facebook page the Twitter and Instagram as well just by um, posting this publishing this blog post here in WordPress without any manual compilation of this post here in Facebook page or Instagram or Twitter right so let me give you the easiest possible steps by which you can also make this automation or integration between all these social media applications so guys these are the three easy steps by which you can also make this integration or connection between your WordPress and your social media applications as well as Google Sheets. So step one is connect Pabli Connect to WordPress with the help of Webhook URL. So first of all we are going to open Pabli Connect and connect our WordPress with Pabli Connect. And step two is collect the data from WordPress in Pabli Connect. So, uh, in second step, we'll create a new blog post here in WordPress and collect the data of that post here in Pavli Connect. And step three is send the same data to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Sheets. So finally, we are going to send the data or the link or the things we have captured here in Pavli Connect about the blog that we have created and send them to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Sheets as well. Right? So first of all, let's jump back to our step one and open Pabli connect so here you have to open your internet browser first and type p-a-b-b-l-y that is pabli.com so this is the landing page of pabli from here you have to put your cursor on this products icon and click on connect okay now you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes by clicking here on sign a free button. So I have already made one free account so I'm going to click on sign in directly. Okay so this is the all app section of Pabli. From here you have to put your cursor on Pabli Connect panel and click on access now. Okay so this will bring you to the dashboard of Pavli connect and to start working here you have to create a workflow like these that i have created uh, so to create a workflow you just have to click here on create workflow button and here you have to enter any relevant name to your workflow so let me fill the name here so i have filled the name as blog post from wordpress to social media applications okay 
so now click on create here okay so as and when your workflow get created you will find these two things the trigger and the action so public connect work on these things the trigger says when this happen action says public connect please do this all right as in our use case the trigger would be a new blog post in a wordpress and the action would be is to share about that wordpress blog on other social media applications such as instagram facebook and twitter right so first of all you have to click here on this trigger window and from this choose app choose your application as wordpress so this is wordpress we have okay now in this tr trigger event you have to uh, select this new post published option and this will generate this url so this is called as a webhook url so by using this url we are going to connect wordpress with pally connect so you have to follow these steps to do that okay so th uh, these are quite a few steps so bear with me i'll tell show you the process first you have to copy this url from here then you have to go your wordpress dashboard then you have to come on this plugins option and click on add new plugin option okay okay now from this page you will find the search bar so here you have to search for wp webhooks okay so search for wp webhooks and you have to install this WP Webhooks plugin here in your WordPress, right? So I have already installed this. So after installing this, you have to go to your plugins option again and click on installed plugins. And now from this page in the search bar, search for the plugin that you have installed that is WP Webhook, this one, okay uh wp fab hook so this is wp web hooks now you have to click on settings from here and from this page you have to click on send data okay now from this page you have to select this post created option click on it now from here you will find this add webhook url button click on add webhook url and here you have to give a relevant name to your webhook uh, something like this right and you have to paste the copied webhook that you have copied from public connect like this here in this webhook url field copy paste this here right and then click on add for post create okay so our uh, webhook url has been added here so you will find your webhook url at the end of this list which is this okay and uh, you have to click here on the settings option and from this window will open up uh, okay so this is our webhook wp social media webhook 2 scroll down here and from this trigger on selected post type you have to select your post type as post only and trigger on initial post status change so here we have to uh, select the post status change as published and click on save settings okay so the settings are saved now we can close this close this window and here in public connect you can see it is showing waiting for the web webhox response okay so now it is time to make another blog post in WordPress and we will fetch the data of that blog here in public connect right so uh, so let me click here on this uh, post option again and I am clicking on add new okay now let me make another post here so I have written the blog post here like this the henna artist by Elka Joshi another book review and here i have attached a featured photo also now let me publish this blog post here i'm clicking on publish and our post is getting published here 
so you can see the status has changed of our blog it is showing published okay so our blog is published here now let's check in public connect if it has captured the data so you can see the data is captured here like this okay the text and all other details right you can see it has generated some links also that we are going to use right now it is time for our next step which is to connect our social media applications right to send the data on them right so first of all we are going to click here on this uh, action window and from this choose app choose your application is let's say facebook pages first so this is facebook pages option click on it okay and this action event select this create page post option then click on connect then from here select this add new connection and click on connect with facebook pages okay so you can see the authorization is successful and it started connect showing connected here that means we are connected with facebook pages now it is asking which page you want to uh, perform the action or post this that you want to post so here in this page option you will find the list of the pages that you have so i have only two pages and the page page we are using is this book review page so select that page from this list okay and here in this message we are going to uh, map or paste the message or title of the title of our blog which is this you will find it here this is the post name okay so this is the post title so i'm going to uh, post this title okay copy the matlab means move this title here in this field in this message field so i'm going to click here and click on wordpress and uh, i'm going to map this title here only right and then it is asking for the url of your blog post so here i'm going to click and clicking on i'm clicking on wordpress and i'm going to map the blocks url so you will find a generated url here in this you can see post permalink so i'm going to map this post permalink from here right and when i click here on save and send test request these two things will be posted as a new post here in our facebook page so let me click here and you can see it is it started showing this type of id here and let's check our facebook page if it has generated any new uh, post okay so you can see a new post is here published and the title is the hina artist by elka joshi a book review and this is the blog post link here okay so when i click on this link it will bring you to the blog that i have posted in the wordpress right this one so our connection with facebook is working really fine now it's time to click here on plus icon and from this choose app we are now going to choose the application as instagram so here is instagram for business click on it and it's in this action event select this uh let's say create publish photo um okay so here we are going to choose this publish photo option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and click on connect with instagram for business okay so you can see it is connecting here and the authorization is successful and start showing connected right now it is asking for the instagram's account to use so here i have this account showing the account of jc matthews right and so the same name is written here in this public connect instagram account to use option jc matthews right and then it is asking for the photos url so here we are going to map the url of our post uh, of our blog post thumbnail which which is this post thumbnail link right so i'm going to move this link here down to instagram photo url option so i'm going to click here and click on wordpress and here is here in wordpress you will find the link of the thumbnail or the wordpress blog here down here this is thumbnail link map it okay 
and in the caption you can map the title of our title of our post which is this right now i'm going to click here and save and send test request and this data will be delivered on our instagram account as a new post so i'm clicking here okay and you can see it started showing some kind of response here which which is this now let's check in our instagram account let me refresh the page here now let's check in an instagram account if uh, a new post is published here and you can see we got a new post here in instagram which is this we have the title and the link of the blog and the photo right so our connection with instagram is also working fine now it is time to connect our next application which is twitter so click on this plus icon and from this choose app choose your application as twitter this one twitter <laughs> and in this action event you have to select uh, create tweet with media right and click on connect here and then from this window select this add new connection option and then click on connect with twitter okay so from this window it will ask for the authorization so click on authorize app and uh, you will see the authorization is successful and start showing connected right so now it is asking for the message and the media file url to post so in this message we are going to map the title of our post okay so here is the title and uh, so along with the title we are going to map the link of the blog post also in the message so let me find the link so here is the link okay right and in this media file url we are going to map the link of the thumbnail or the photo we have right the thumbnails link is this so map it here and in this category let it be image only and now when i click here on save and send test request this data will be delivered as a new post on twitter handle as well so i'm going to click here so you can see it started showing this kind of response here right now let's check in twitter handle so this is our twitter handle and you can see we got a new tweet here like this okay the henna artist by alka joshi the photo and the link of the photo the link of the blog post as well right so connection with twitter is also working fine now it is time to connect the google sheet on which we want to say save the data of the things that we have posted right so i'm going to click here on this plus icon and from this choose app i'm choosing the application as google sheets this one and in this section event i'm going to select add new row option and i'm going to click on connect here and from this window i'm going to select add new connection and then click on connect with google sheets right so you can see it is asking for the email id by which your google sheet application is connected so select that email id of your right and then you will see it will ask for a few access which is completely safe just click on continue here okay so the authorization is successful and it started showing connected now it is asking for which spreadsheet you want to use so the spreadsheet is here let me see this is the spreadsheet wordpress blog post that we are using so i'm going to select this spreadsheet from uh, this list okay uh, this is wordpress blog post spreadsheet so i'm clicking on it now it is asking to select the sheet so we have only one sheet i think in my spreadsheet okay only one sheet here so it is automatically selected sheet one and now it is asking for the blog's title so i'm going to map the title from this wordpress option this is our title blog link okay so here i am going to paste the permalink which i have created in this wordpress so this is post permalink and a thumbnail thumbnail link also from the same place okay so this is the thumbnails link okay so after mapping these things when i click here on save and send test request you will see this data will be delivered here in this spreadsheet as a new row okay so let me click here on save and send test request 
and it started showing this kind of response here now let's check in the spreadsheet okay and you can see a new row is added here and the title is the henna, henna artist the blogs link the thumbnails links as well okay so our connection with google sheet is also working fine so our, our workflow is completed now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here so first of all in this trigger window we selected the application as wordpress and then with the help of this url we connected wordpress with pavli then we captured the data of a new post blog post like this here then we connected our facebook page to post the link of this same uh, blog like this right then we connected instagram and mapped the fields required to post another uh, photo of our link and the link of the link of the blog on instagram right like this then we connected our twitter handle to post the blog's link and the photo like this all right and we have seen that on all our social medias we got the same blog post right like this and like this right after that we connected google sheet application to save the blog's link and the title and the thumbnail and when i clicked on save and send request you have seen that we got a new row here in wordpress blog post spreadsheet right so the workflow is completed now click on save here and let me tell you one more important thing that is you can make this workflow or automation run 100 times with the help of uh, 100 times in a month with the help of pavli connects free account because pavli connects free account provides you 100 free tasks for every new month so if 100 tasks are sufficient for you you can use pavli connect for free forever also we are going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free pavli connect account and start using that instantly in this video we are going to understand how to auto post on social media via google sheet social media calendar so let's say that you have got a spreadsheet where you have a social media calendar now you want that there are certain dates and time mentioned along with the post details like the caption and the links that you want to post on your different social media platforms so here you are going to start with scheduling your workflow so that it can trigger every day and it is going to look up the rows of your spreadsheet to fetch for the data and the moment the date coincides with the current date then it is going to publish your data on different social media platforms now how can you do this to do this you will have to integrate these applications and the same thing can be done using pavli connect software so here your trigger application will be scheduled by pavli which is a feature by pavli and then your action application is going to be google sheets and then it is going to be all the social media platforms that you want to integrate now how you can do this yourself automate and integrate this entire process to understand that let me take you to my screen in this video we are going to understand how to auto post social media on various platforms now here we have a google sheet which is a social media calendar here we have the date time captions and images now my objective is that every time a new caption with an image link is added here with date and time then automatically it should be posted as a link on instagram on facebook and on pinterest now how can we do that to understand that let's start to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached a landing page. Now on the right hand side, we have got two options, sign in and sign up. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this entire software. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. And as I do that, here we have reached all applications page. So these are the various products of Pabli. And here we are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. So as I do that, here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, we have a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now, what is my objective here? to create Google Sheet social media calendar and auto post on social media. So I have got a social media calendar in my Google Sheet and every time this workflow runs, then automatically the post will be posted on various social media platforms. So let's click on create. 
And as I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or the concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. Action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, I want this particular workflow to run every day to fetch for the data. So here I'm going to choose a feature by Pabli which is schedule. Let's click on this. Now why do I want to schedule this workflow so that it can run as per my desire. So here we have got different options at regular intervals, once, every day, days of the week or dates of the month. Now this feature has helped me to schedule this workflow every day at a particular time. So let's say the time here is 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, and now I'm going to click on save. As I do that, here we have received the response. So you can see it is written how often you want to run your workflow. It is written every day. Now the time that has been mentioned here is 4.30, which is the UTC time, which is five and a half hours ahead of the Asia Kolkata time. And here the local time has been mentioned. Next is the action application. So before I go ahead, let me show you the social media calendar on the Google Sheet that I have created. So here we have got different fields. One is date, another one is time. Then these are the captions that would be posted on different social media along with these image links. Now here the dates have been mentioned. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to fetch the current date and that I'm going to do with the help of a feature by Pabli which is date time formatter. Let's click on this and here the action event would be to fetch the current date. Let's click on connect. As I do that here it is asking me for the format. Now the format that I have been using here is year, month and date. So here it is year, month and date. Let's click on save and send test request. Now you can see I have received the current date. Once I have received the current date, I'm going to look up for that particular date in my Google Sheet. So I'm going to choose my action step and here the application will be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to look up spreadsheet rules. Let's click on this, click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheets account. Let's click on add new connection, sign in with Google. So here we have to choose the account with which this particular Google Sheet has been connected. So I've done the same and now it is asking me for the additional access to my Google account. This is absolutely secure. So I'm going to click on continue. And as we do that, here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Pabli Connect and Google Sheets are now connected. And once it is connected, here we have to fill in this information. First of all, we have to select the name of the spreadsheet. So you can see that the name of the spreadsheet was social media calendar, which has already been taken by the system. And since there was only one sheet, so this has also been captured by the system. Next is the lookup column. So here I'm going to look up for this particular column, the date column. So I'm going to mention A here and then we have the lookup value. So the value that I'm looking for is this value, the date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. And as I do that, you can see the previous steps. I'll go to step two here and this here is the date mentioned. So this is the lookup value. Next is, do you want to include headers and response? So you can either go for yes or no. I have selected true. Then the sort value. So I want to go from top to bottom or bottom to top. This is what I have to select. So I've selected top. Let's click on save and send test request. And as I do that, here we have received the information. So for that particular date, I have received the data. So this here is the date. Then we have the time mentioned. Here is the caption and the image link. Now, once I have received this information, I'm going to choose a feature by Pabli, which is delay. Let me show you. So I'm going to add another action step here. I'm going to look for delay. So this is going to delay my workflow till the next date. So I'm going to here choose delay until and now here I'm going to choose the delay date. Now to enter the date, we have been given a format, which is this is the date and this here is the time. So I'm going to click on this. First of all, I'm going to go to step three and this here is the date. Then let's give a space. Go to step three once again and this here is the time. 
Now this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and mapping is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration. Had I written the state and time value here manually so even when my workflow was running for the nth time with some new information it would have taken the same data and not the new data so to avoid that we map the values. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request you can see that my workflow has been successfully delayed until this particular date and time. So what is going to happen is this workflow is going to look for the date and time and the moment it coincides with the date and time the workflow is going to run and then again when it runs it is going to look for the next value. Now my workflow is scheduled to run every day but let's say that there is no media to be posted on 19th. So in that particular case, I'll have to put a filter that if it doesn't coincide, then the workflow should not continue. So here I'm going to choose my action step and here I'm going to look for filter, which is another feature by Pabli. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the label, go to step three and here we have the date. So I'm going to look for this date and here the filter type is exists. So if this date exists, then only this workflow should run otherwise the workflow should stop then and there as i click on save and send test request here we can see that the condition is true and the status is shown as a success why because this particular value does exist and now when it exists i can continue with my workflow so first i'm going to post this particular media on instagram so here i'm going to choose my action application as instagram for business and the action event here would be to publish photo so here i'm going to auto post a social media post let's click on connect and here you can see that pabli connect is asking to connect itself with instagram for business account let's click on add new connection connect with instagram for business i have already logged into my instagram for business account so you can see that the authorization has been successful so it has already taken the name of the account. So this is my Instagram account. This here is the profile. So it has already taken the Instagram account to use. Now I'm going to map the photo URL. To do that, let's click on this. Go to step three and this here is the URL. The next thing is the caption. So again, let's go to step three and this here is the caption. Let's click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we have received a positive response according to which this particular post now must be posted on Instagram. Let's go and check the same. So this is my Instagram account. Let's quickly refresh this. And here you can see that this particular post has been posted. Let me show you. So yes, here we have the caption and then we have the image. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to add another action step. And this time I'm going to post this particular post on Facebook. So let's go to Facebook pages and action event here would be to create page photo post. Let's click on connect. So here you can see that Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with Facebook pages account. Again, I've logged into my Facebook account. So I'm going to select add new connection, connect with Facebook pages. Here it is asking me for the account. Let's continue as the previous account. And you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now here, first of all, we have to select a page. So this is my Facebook account and you can see that I've got these three pages. So I want this particular post to be posted on Pabli page. Now we have to mention the photo URL. So I'm again going to go to step three and this here is the photo URL. Then we have the description. So let's go to step three and this here is the caption. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we have received a positive response. Let's go and check our Facebook. So we went to Pabli and here, let's see if we have received. Yes, we have received the same post and here is the caption. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you another example. And this time I'm going to integrate another application, which is Pinterest. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to create pin. Let's click on connect. So here again, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Pinterest account. Let's click on add new connection, connect with Pinterest. I have already logged into my Pinterest account. Let's provide the access. And here we can see that Pabli Connect is connected with Pinterest. Now here we have to enter the name of the board, board section ID, image URL, etc. To understand this, let me take you to my Pinterest account. So this is my Pinterest account. 
and let me take you to my profile and here we have got these boards let's say that i want this particular post to be posted on avenger so i'm going to go here and have selected avenger here now the board section id this is not a required step so i'm just going to leave this blank let's enter the image url once again go to step 3 this is the url the title here is this the caption now even for the description i can add the same thing and here i have added the caption once again let's click on save and send test request and as i do that again we have received a positive response let's go to pinterest to check if this particular post has been posted so let's go to avenger and yes here you can see that this post has been posted similarly you can integrate different social media platforms even social messaging applications like discord slack etc so i hope this is absolutely clear to you let's quickly understand what we have done so here we have created a google sheet social media calendar and auto posted on social media how first of all we have scheduled our workflow to work every day at a particular time and then our action application the first action application was a feature by pabli which is date time formatter where we had to fetch the current date our next action application was google sheets where the event was to look up spreadsheet rows for the date mentioned once that was done we have chosen another feature by pabli which is delay so that we can delay our workflow till the next date and time once this is done we have put a filter so that our workflow can continue only when the values exist and once this is done then we have posted the information on different social media platforms like instagram facebook pages pinterest i hope that this particular workflow is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt the link of this workflow is there in the description box you can go and check out the same you can even clone the same and start to process immediately Apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us Hello everyone welcome back to our channel Pabli so in this video we are going to learn how to share your blogger post to twitter automatically so the idea here is that whenever you create a new post in your blogger account automatically the same post should be created into your twitter account but here the question is how to do this because there is no direct connection between blogger and twitter so first let us check this in the real time and then we will move on to the integration process so this is my blogger account and this is my twitter account so now i want that whenever i create a new post here in my blogger account automatically the same post should be created into the twitter account so i'll just create a new post over here i'll just add a title as fourth most powerful country in asia i'll add a random description over here along with this title and description i want the image to be uploaded so i'll just select the image from my system i'll select the files okay and here let us select this image india as powerful country the image is getting uploaded over here and let's click on select so the image is uploaded now let us click on publish and confirm so here a new post is published let us view this post okay and here we can see that the post has been published now let us check our twitter account i'll refresh it and here we can find a new post a new blog is published on my page along with that an image is posted and a url is posted so let us open this url okay and here we are redirected to the blogger account that is the blogger post now here you might be wondering that i just created a new post here in my blogger account and automatically the same post is created over here in my twitter account also so how did i manage to do this so let me tell you this has become possible just because of the automation and integration process so in order to create an integration between google blogger and twitter we are going to use a software application named pabli connect so basically pabli connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating blogger with twitter automatically the best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge even a non technical person can use this software application very easily so first we are going to create an integration between google blogger and pabli connect 
then Pabli Connect will capture all the details related to the post and using those details, a new post will be created into your Twitter account. And in this way, we are going to learn that how we can create an integration between Google Blogger and Twitter using Pabli Connect. So let us learn the integration process now. For this, let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. You can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this option. As I already have a free account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as blogger to twitter integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can find a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want the details to be captured from the blogger account. So I'll just open this trigger window and here in the application name, we are going to search blogger. In the trigger event, we have to select new post added. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and connect with Google Blogger. Now here I have to choose an account. So I'll just choose my account. Pabli Connect Blogger wants additional access to your Google account. Okay, I'll just click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful. And as I was already logged into my Google Blogger account, here we can see that Google Blogger is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to select the blog ID. So I'll just take you to my blogger account and here we can find the blog ID. So we can see that it is automatically captured over here. Now here we have to select the status. You want the status to be live or draft or scheduled. So I want the status to be only live. So this particular trigger will run only when the post is live. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first let us create a new post into our blogger account. Just because after clicking on this option, it is going to capture the latest response. So I'll just go to the blogger account. And here by clicking on this plus sign new post, let us create a new post. I'll just add a title over here. So I've given the title as National Energy Conservation Day 2021. And along with that, I'll just add a content over here. That is the description. And here I want that along with this title and the description, an image should also get posted. So I'll just select the image from insert image. Click on upload from computer. As I have the uh, images in my system, I'll choose the files. Okay, so let us select this energy conservation image. The image is getting uploaded over here. Okay, and let's click on select. So the image is ready along with that the title and the description is also ready. Now let us click on publish. Publish post yes confirm it. Okay and here we can see that our post is published. Let us click on this view button. Okay and here we can see that the title, the description and the image is ready and posted correctly. Now let us move back to Pabli Connect and let us click on save and send test request. And here we can see that the response is received and all the details related to the post are captured over here. Here we can find the image title, content, image URL and all other details. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes this may take some time in fetching the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently your data will surely arrive, okay? So now we want that using all these details, automatically a new post should be created into the Twitter account. So come to this action window and here in the application name, let us select 
Twitter, in the action event we have to select create tweet with media, click on connect, click on add new connection and connect with Twitter. Here as I am already logged into my Twitter account, it is asking authorize public connect to access your account, so I will just click on authorize app. Authorization successful and now the Twitter account is connected to Public Connect. Now here we have to select the message media file URL. So if I add the message along with the title and the description it will be too long just because we have a character limit of 280 words in the Twitter account. So for that I will just add a text over here that is a new blog is published on my page and I will just map my blogger URL. So I will just go to the blogger and let us find the URL over here. So this is the blogger URL. So whenever any of my followers click on this particular URL, they will be uh, redirected to the blogger post. Okay. Now here we have to give the media file URL. So let us map the media file URL over here. That is image URL. Okay. And uh, select the media category as image itself. And let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see the responses received. Now let us check our Twitter account, I will refresh it and here we can find a new blog is published on my page along with the image and the URL is posted. Let us check this URL, ok and here the URL has taken us to the blogger post. Now let us move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully, ok. Now we have to check this in the real time. For that I will again go to the blogger post and let us create a new post over there. I will click on this new post once again. So I have given the title as India has updated the travel rules for the travelers. I will just add a random content or the description over here. And along with this particular description I want an image also. So I will just upload an image from my system. Let us choose the file and I will just add this travelers image. The image is getting uploaded over here. Let's click on select. Ok, I'll just maximize the size of this particular image and click on publish. Confirm. So here we can see that the post has been published. Let us view the post first. Ok, here we can see the title, the description along with the image is properly posted. Now let us check our Twitter account. I'll refresh it. And here even after refreshing we can't find our post over here. Just because I have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So let's wait for some time. And here after 5 minutes we can see show 2 tweets. So the 2 new tweets are there over here. And we can find our tweet. Okay, A new blog is published on my page along with this particular image. Let us click on the URL. Ok and here we are on our blogger post. So in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So now let's move back to Pabli Connect. I will just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Blogger and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details related to the post and using those details automatically a new post is created into the Twitter account. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Google Blogger and Twitter using Public Connect. Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushi Kara Setia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn that how we can generate daily motivational quotes and post on social media platforms automatically. So let's take an example that you are a motivational speaker and you are posting motivational quotes on social media platform on a regular basis. Now you want to generate the motivational quotes automatically and you want to post on social media platform automatically. For that we need to create an integration or a connection between the Google Slides and your social media platform so that using the template of the Google Slide automatically the motivational quotes get generated and it should get shared on the social media platform. So this will be useful for you if you are a motivational speaker, blogger, a writer or a counsellor or a business leader who wants to motivate their employees or any other professional can use this particular automation. 
So in this particular integration, we are posting the motivational quotes on Facebook and Twitter. So not only these two social media platforms, you can use any other social media platform for sharing your motivational quotes or you can even share on the mails on the WhatsApp numbers also. So in order to create an integration between Google Slides and social media platform, we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating Google Slides with social media platform automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process now. For this, let us type pabbly pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option. You can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this option. And by signing up over here, you will get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So I am just adding the name as generate daily motivational quotes and post on social media platform. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens. Action means do this. So in this use case, we want the motivational quotes to be posted on a regular basis. For that, open this trigger window. And here in the choose application, let us find schedule. How often you want to run your workflow? So when do you want to send the motivational quotes? We want the motivational quotes should be shared on the social media platform on a regular basis. So I am selecting this everyday option over here. Now here we have to select the time. Please insert the time in UTC time format only. Okay. So I am just giving the random time over here right now. That is 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay. So if I want the motivational course to be shared at 10 a.m. Here I have to map the UTC time. So I have just converted the time over here. 10 a.m. IST will be 4.30 a.m. UTC. So we have to give 4.30 a.m. over here. Okay. So I am just going to change the time. Let us give it as 4.30 a.m. And let us click on save. Schedule successfully. Okay. And here we can see that the response is received and it is uh, scheduled for every day at the time is 4.30 a.m. Okay. Now we want the motivational course to be generated automatically. Okay. So I'll just take you to a wonderful website over here that is zencourse.io. It is a wonderful website. Using the API, we can get the quotes in Pabli Connect over here. So when we scroll down, and here we can find these three URLs. So these URLs doesn't require the API key. Okay, so I am just using this particular URL to generate the quotes. For that, I will just come to Pabli Connect and here in the action window, I am just going to select the application name as API. Here we have to select the action event as get. Okay, here we have to give the endpoint URL. So I will just go to the URL. I will just copy it from here. Okay, I will move back to Pabli Connect and I will paste the link URL over here. Now the authentication is required. I am just selecting it as no authentication, no auth. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see that this is the quote we have received through the response. And this is the author name. So now we want to capture the current date also. For that, come to this plus sign and click on add action step. Here in the choose application, let us find date and time formatter. In the action event, we have to select current date. Click on connect. Now here we have to select the basic format. So I'll, uh, I want the date format to be DD, MM and YY. I am selecting this format. Include time and response. No, I don't want to include the time and response. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can find today's date. Now we want to create a presentation using the template. So I will just show you the template which I have already created in my Google Drive over here. 
and the template name is quotes. So this is the basic template which I have created. You can create the template as per your requirement, a creative one. Okay. Here I have given the parameters for the quote and the author. So whenever we map the data, the uh, quote will be mapped over here. It will be displayed over here in this uh, curly braces and the author name will be displayed over here. Okay. So I want the motivational quotes to be displayed in this particular template. For that, come to public connect. Here we have to click on this plus sign, add action step. Here we have to select the application name as Google Slides. In the action event, we have to select create presentation from template. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Click on connect with Google Slides. Now here we have to choose an account in which account we have created the template. So I'll just choose my account over here. Pabli Connect Drive wants additional access to your Google account. So let's click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful. Okay, now the Google slides are connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Google account. Okay, now here we have to select the template presentation title name. So here the title name is quotes. So we have to select the same over here that is quotes. Now here we have to give the title of the new presentation. So it means whenever a new motivational quote is generated, what should be the name? So I want the name to be the date, okay, along with that quotes. So I'll just map the date which we have got from date and time formatter. That is 2nd of February 2022, okay. And after that, I'm just adding quotes. Okay, I have given the title for the new presentation. Now here we have to give the location. Where do you want to save this particular new motivational quote, new file? So here we have to select a location. I have already created a folder in my Google Drive named quotes. So I want all the motivational quotes to be saved over here in this particular folder. Okay. So we have to select the folder name over here. The folder name is quotes. Okay. Now here we have to map the quote and the author name. So let us map the quote and author which we have received here this one okay so i'm just going to map both of these over here let us map it from api by pabli okay and this is the quote and let us map the author name from api by pabli and this was the author name okay and let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can find the presentation id okay the response is received it means a new presentation is generated. It means a new file is generated. So I'll just go to the quotes over here. And here we can find the file. I'll just open it and I'll check. Okay, and here we can find that our motivational quote is ready. Okay, so let's move back to Pabli Connect. Now here I'm just going to apply a delay of one minute because sometimes Google Slides may take time to create this particular presentation or a new file. Okay, so for our safer side, I'm just going to add the delay. So let's click on add action step. Click on this plus sign. In the choose application, let us find delay. How much delay we want to put into your workflow? So it will be delay for and here we have to select the unit. It is minutes, hours, days, weeks. You can select it as per your requirement. I'm just taking it as one minute. Here we have to give the value and let's click on save and send test request. So the post will be created, it will be delayed after one minute. It, uh, it means that it will be uh, posted on the social media platform one minute after the specific time. Okay. Now before posting it on social media platform, we want to create a thumbnail also. For that, come to this plus sign and click on add action step one more time. Here in the choose application, let us find Google Slides. Here in the action event, we have to select get a thumbnail. Click on connect. Here we have to choose the select existing connection option because we have recently created a connection with Google Slides. Let's click on save. Okay. Now here we have to map the presentation ID which we have received over here. Okay. So we have to map this particular presentation ID. I am just scrolling down. Okay. Here we have to click on this mapping button. And I will just erase this data. And we have to uh, select it from Google Slides. 
and this is the presentation ID. Okay. Now here the page object ID is automatically captured. We are not going to make any changes over here. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. And here we can find the content URL. Okay. Here we can find a thumbnail is generated over here. So now we want to post the motivational quotes on social media platform. So the first social media platform I'm using is Facebook pages. For that, click on this add action step. Here in the choose application, let us find Facebook pages. In the action event, we have to select create page photo. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Facebook pages. Authorization successful. Okay, now the Facebook account is connected to public connect just because I was already logged into my Facebook account. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your Facebook account. Now here we have to select the Facebook page name. So I'll just take you to my Facebook account once. So the Facebook page name which I am using is St. James Higher Education. I want the motivational course to be posted on this particular page. So we have to select the same page over here. So I'm just going to find the same page. That is St. James Higher Education. Now here the page access token is automatically captured. We are not going to make any changes. Here we have to map the photo URL. So here we have to map the thumbnail which we have generated from the Google Slides. So let us select the thumbnail from Google Slides. I'm just scrolling down. Here we have to map the content URL. Okay. Here we have to give the description. So I'm just adding the description as quote of the day for and I'm just adding the date which we have got from date and time formatter. Okay. So the... Description will be quote of the day for this particular date. Okay. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. It means a new post has been shared on our Facebook page. So let's move back to Facebook page. I'll just scroll down. Okay. And here we can find our motivational quote. Quote of the day for uh, 2nd of February 2022. Okay. And here we can find the quote. So let's move back to public connect. Now we want the same motivational code to be shared on our Twitter account also. For that, come to this plus sign and click on add action step. Here in the choose application, let us find Twitter. In the action event, we have to select create tweet with media. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And click on connect with Twitter. Now authorize public connect to access your account. Let's click on authorize app. Authorization successful. And now the Twitter account is connected to public connect. Just because I am already logged into my Twitter account also. Now here we have to map the message. So I am just adding the same message over here. And let us add the date from date and time formatter. Okay. And this was the date. Here we have to map the media file URL. The same media URL which we have received from Google Slides. That is get a thumbnail. Okay. And this was the URL. That is the content URL. Here we have to select the media category as image. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. It means a new tweet has been created on our Twitter account. So let's move to Twitter account. Okay, and here we can find the same motivational quote is shared on our Twitter account also. So let's move back to public connect. Now as we have shared the motivational quotes on both our social media platforms that is Facebook and Twitter. If you want to share it on other social media platforms, you can share by clicking on this plus sign by adding the new action steps. Or else if you want to share it on the WhatsApp number or you want to uh, send it via a mail, you can add the action steps over here and you can share. Okay. Now we want that once the motivational quote is shared on our social media platforms, it should get deleted from our Google Drive folder. Okay. For that, come to this plus sign and click on add action step. In the choose application, let us find Google Drive over here. In the action event, we have to select delete file or folder. Let us select the same option over here. That is delete file or folder. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Google Drive. 
Now here we have to choose an account. So I'm just going to choose my account over here. Pabli Connect Drives wants additional access to your Google account. So let's click on continue. Authorization successful. Okay, and now the Google Drive is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to map the file or the folder ID which needs to be deleted. So I'm just going to find the same file or folder from our Google Slides. And here we have to map the presentation ID. Okay. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the responses received. So now let us check our Google Drive folder. Okay, and we, here we cannot find the presentation ID or the file which was generated. So it is deleted from here. Okay, it means our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to Public Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, so now we want to check this in the real time. For that, I'm just going to uh, apply the scheduler time over here after just 5 minutes. Okay. I have already converted the time to UTC time format. So, I'm just giving it as 2.15 over here. 2.15 PM. Okay. And let's click on save. Successfully scheduled. Okay. So, this particular workflow will run at 2.15 PM. Okay. So, we'll be checking the social media uh, platforms at 2.15. So, it's 2.15 now. Let us check our Facebook account. I'm just going to refresh it. Okay, let's scroll down. Okay, and here we can find a new quote. That is a new motivational quote. Science can flourish only in an atmosphere of, of free speech. And uh, here we can find the author name. Okay, now let us check our Twitter account also. Okay, let's click on this uh, show two tweets. Okay, and here we can find the same motivational quote is shared on our Twitter account also. And in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So, let's move back to Public Connect. And I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. Okay, so I have minimized all the windows. First, we have applied the scheduler over here. So, that this particular workflow should run every day at a specific time. Okay, then to automatically generate the motivational quotes, we have used the API of Zen codes over here. Then to capture the current date, we have applied the date and time formatter by Pabli. Okay, then uh, using the template, we have created a new motivational quote. Okay, we have created a new file which should be shared on the social media platform. Okay, and here we have applied the delay for one minute just because sometimes the presentation may take time to get created from the Google Slides over here. Then we have used the Google Slides to create a thumbnail so that the image should be shared on the social media platform. Then we have shared the particular file or the image on the social media platforms that is on Facebook pages and Twitter. And once the motivational code is published on the social media platform, we have deleted the file from the Google Drive. And in this way, we have created a successful integration using Pabli Connect. Hello everyone, I am Arbit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today, I am going to tell you how you can post Instagram media to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn automatically. Now let me tell you something, why would you need this automation? Suppose, uh, you know, I am giving you an example of a social media marketer. Suppose a social media marketer wants to post on all of these platforms and he wants to post a particular image or a particular data with a particular caption. Now. He knows that he has to post everything manually by going to these accounts again and again. Now, rather than doing this, what will he do? He will just post on Instagram and through automation, the same thing will get posted to Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. And this automation can do wonders for you. So, what are we going to do here? First, I am going to create an Instagram post. After that, that post will be shared to LinkedIn, it will be shared to Twitter and it will also be shared to Facebook simultaneously and automatically. Also, we are going to use an integration and automation service, Pabli Connect, which will help us connect Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook together. Now, if you want to learn this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And we are on our screen now. So what we have to do, we have to go to the address bar and here we are going to type P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com 
slash connect and as soon as I will press enter, you can see I have been redirected to this beautiful web page and here you have two options. Either you can go for sign in or you can go for sign up. So uh, if you already have an account, you can just directly sign in, but you do not uh, have an account. You have to go for sign up. Signing up is absolutely free and it is also giving you 100 free tasks from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you here. Okay. Now I already have an account, so I'll go for sign in. And here I will click on access now for Pebbly Connect. And here to make our automation, first we have to create a workflow. So we are going to click on create workflow. And it is taking some time. Let me refresh it. Okay. <clears throat> So the workflow name is what we are going to do first, we are going to make a post on Instagram. And then we are going to integrate several uh, other social medias with it. So Instagram to other social media. Okay, so this is my title, you can give any title you want to now just create it. And now you can see we have two windows here trigger and action. So trigger window is the window when the event is happening, any event is happening at the start of the process. And action is the window where the final event is happening at the end of the process. So trigger is when this is happening, action means do this. So what is happening? We are posting on Instagram. So let me select Instagram from for business. Here, new media posted in my account and let me connect it. Now, what we are going to do, I am going to add a new connection for you all so that you will know how to do this. Just click on connect with Instagram for business. And as soon as you will do that, you know, I already have my account opened here. You can see by this name, Jesse Matthews 12. So this account is automatically taken by Pebbly Connect. And our Instagram account is now connected with our uh, <clears throat> with our uh, Pebbly Connect account. Now what we are going to do, we are going to post an image here or I should say we are going to create a post here and then I will click on save and send test request. Okay. So select from computer and uh, okay i have this image i'll just go for this image but it's kind of blurry so leave this one i have one more image let's go for this one and this looks good great no i do not want to use any filters now we are integrating instagram twitter facebook and linkedin together so i want to clear one thing here that Twitter will only allow you a caption of up to 280 characters only. Uh, so what you have to do is whenever you are writing a caption for Instagram, LinkedIn or Twitter or so or Facebook, which in turn means we are integrating everything with Instagram. So whenever you are writing the caption on Instagram, it should be within 280 characters. The word limit should be 280 so that it can easily be taken uh, to Twitter also and you do not have any problem with captions in Twitter. Okay, now let me do. So I'll write wanna buy the wanna buy digital marketing course open the link in description Okay, so this is my post and this is uh, I'm going to share this post here. So I'll just go and click on share. And as soon as I will do that, you can see 
my post has been shared now i will go here and i will click on save and send test request now as soon as i will save and send test request you can see here it is clearly written wanna buy digital marketing course open the link in description and this is the quotation marks which i used here as you can see wait a minute let me show you the post so this is the post and this is the caption wanna buy digital marketing course open the link in description okay now what we have to do here we have everything we need we have the media url here this is the media url this is the id this is the username this is the caption okay <clears throat> now what we are going to do we are going to connect it with our linkedin account this is our linkedin account here in action window now i will go for linkedin linkedin okay now what we are going to do here our action event will be share an article or url now i will go for connect add new connection and now i will connect it with my linkedin my linkedin profile is already logged in here so it will automatically you know it will automatically be taken here and let me put the password here now we will sign in <clears throat> and as soon as we will sign in you can see this linked in here share an article uh, or url the author is ashi <coughs> which is this now what i am going to do is it is asking me for the content now here i am going to use a technique which is called mapping mapping will let me take the data from this window and it will let me put the data to these fields in this window so it is asking me for the content so the content is this caption one up by digital marketing course open the link in description so i'll just put this as a content and article url so the article url is this one media url okay so we will just copy this i am sorry we will just map this not copy this and we will click on save and send test request now as soon as we will do that you can see an id here urn share this 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 we will go here and we will go on our account and here <clears throat> you can see i have uh, successfully posted this one a buy digital marketing course open the link in description and this is the link which we can put in our instagram i did not do that okay <clears throat> so this is how we already connected our linkedin now what we are going to do we are going to make one more window here or add one more window here and now it's time for twitter so we will go for twitter we will select it and here what you have to do is you have to select create tweet with media because we have a picture there we have a photo there so we are using create tweet with media now we will connect it add new connection connect with twitter and as soon as you will do that it will ask you for the authorization now do not worry your data with the pebbly connect is absolutely safe you can give the authorization and you can see the authorization is successful now here again i am going to use the technique which is called mapping message is the same caption and media file url is also same which is this one and media category is image obviously now as soon as i will click on save and send test request you can see a new tweet has been made here and we have the details of that tweet here now let me go back here and let me show you this is my tweet wanna buy digital marketing course open the link in description and you can see here is the tweet now what we are going to do now it's time for facebook so now what we are going to do we have so many options for facebook here but we are going to you know post it to a page so we are going to select facebook pages 
and here we are going to select create page photo okay because we are posting an image so we will click on connect add new connection connect with facebook pages and now it will ask you to please authenticate and the uh, what should i say the instructions are simple like we used in this uh, you know instagram in twitter in linkedin the same way we are going to connect the facebook page okay now here i have so many pages you can see pebbly tech book review and automation testing let me show it to you these are my three pages pebbly tech automation testing and book review so i will just go to book review and here you can see i do not have any you know digital marketing course post here what i am going to do is i am going to select book review this is the page access token and we do not want to mess up with this okay page access token photo url is the same and description is also the same okay so now what we are going to do as soon as we will click on save and send test request a new post will be created on our facebook page book review you can see this is the id and this is the post id and here i'll just refresh it and it is taking some time so let's wait for uh, a second so here i want to tell you one more thing we are using a trigger polling here which will be used to send data from one application to other application now in case of facebook also we will be using polling trigger and the polling trigger will send the data from instagram to facebook but it can take some time it can take 1 minute it can take 5 minutes it can even take 1 hour okay so you do not have to worry about that if you do not have your you know response here you just have to wait for 5 to 10 minutes and uh, your response will come here like i am waiting and uh, let's see after how many you know minutes my response will come here and as soon as i uh, you know uh, as soon as the response will come here i'll just show it to you okay so as you can see here i have the post one of my digital marketing course open the link in description and let me tell you it took me about 12 minutes to receive this post so you know uh, as i told you that facebook is a, a trigger no i am not saying facebook is a trigger app what what should i say is we are using a polling trigger to take the data from instagram to facebook okay so that would be the right statement so this is how you can automate and integrate your instagram to your twitter to your linkedin and to your facebook and then whenever you are going to post anything on instagram it will automatically be posted to linkedin twitter and facebook pages okay so i hope you loved this automation and if you want to use this automation you can just go and copy this workflow or should i say clone this workflow from my description link but for that you need to have an account on pebbly connect and to do that you have to go and sign up signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month okay hasta la vista share facebook media to different social media platforms like twitter tumblr and linkedin automatically yes guys if you are a social media influencer or you are someone who post content on social media platforms very frequently for uh, different purposes this automation is for you because it will allow you to share the same content that you have posted on facebook to different social media platforms automatically so you do not need to share the same content manually on different social media platforms so it will surely save a huge amount of your time and energy and it will uh, it will automate your process and it will streamline your working let me show you how this is going to work so this will be the flow of this automation you just have to create a post and share it on facebook and the same content is going to be created as a tweet on twitter automatically on linkedin as a post automatically and as a blog on tumblr automatically you need not to manually uh, post the same content on different social medias okay 
So that is uh, how it is going to work. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is you can set up this automation in very few easy steps without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So let's set up this automation together. So guys, first of all, login into your Pavli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. And to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every month. OK, so sign up right now and log in to reach here. And guys, here you have to start working by creating a workflow. So just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can uh, give any suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here, share Facebook, Facebook, sorry, media on different social platforms okay so you can give any name according to you I have given this name now you can click on this create button and you can see your workflow uh, is creating here like this and on this page guys you will find these things the trigger and the action so this automation work on these two things so the trigger is the happening of any event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger as in our use case, the trigger would be an, a content posted on uh, Facebook and the action would be to share the same content on other different social medias. OK, like we have mentioned the Twitter, the Tumblr and the LinkedIn. OK, so first of all, you have to set up this trigger. So the trigger application is Facebook. So you have to search for Facebook here. This one actually we are uh, taking the content from Facebook pages. So select Facebook pages here. Now in the trigger event, select new post option. Then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection. Then click on connect with Facebook pages. OK, so you can see we are connected here because I have already logged in here in Facebook. You can see uh, this is my Facebook and I am handling this page named as Pabli Tech. So it got connected here automatically, right? So now you have to select the page you are working on or you're posting on. So here in this page field, when you click, it will show you the list of all the pages that you have created in Facebook. So name of my page is Pavli Tech. I'm, I'm going to search for it. Here it is, select it. Now it is asking for number of posts. So here you have to enter the number of posts to be uh, retrieved in every request. OK, so uh, we want to fetch the post content one by one. So I want I'm putting here one only. OK, so whenever I post one post in Facebook, that is going to be retrieved here. OK, now click on save and send test request. And you can see it fetch the details and the content of a most recently created post in Facebook. So you can see it is showing us this content here. It has the message easily connect multiple applications to automate your task. This is a message we got. This is the picture uh, picture link we got. We got another label. Let me show you. OK, so this is the uh, target URL. This means this is the URL of the Facebook page. Let me show you this. OK, so this is the same. Uh, this is the Facebook uh, post most recently created. Let me show you on the page also. You can see this is this was the most recent post and the data of this post got captured here in this form. So here we got the link of the post. Here we got the link of the image. You can see. Here we got the message or the caption. So this is how we can capture the post data from Facebook. Now I want to share the same post on different uh, platforms, right? Like LinkedIn, Twitter and uh, Tumblr. So first of all, let me connect Twitter here in the section step. So I'm searching for Twitter. 
this is Twitter selected and the action event would be create tweet with media because we have a media attached here a photo attached here in this post so we'll create a post here with media in Twitter so select create tweet with media then click on connect and from here select add new connection then click on connect with Twitter and I have already logged in in Twitter you can see this is my Twitter account okay so click on it <clears throat> and that will bring you to the login window if you are not logged in or if you are logged in like me it will just ask for uh, Pavli Connect to take the permission to get the access to your Twitter handle so click on authorize app okay and you can see the authorization is successful and we are connected now it is asking for the message and the uh, media file URL okay <clears throat> so I'm going to use the data that I have received here in the first step from Facebook and I'm going to map the data here so I, in the message I'm going to uh, map the caption that we have received here in this uh, label let me show you here is, we have this message label and here we have the caption so I'm going to map this label here so to map this label just click here and you will see this Facebook step in the drop down which was our first step and from here only you can get the details that you have received and from here only I'm going to map this label which is message label let me show you here is the message map it okay for the media file URL use the same uh, same step and here you will uh, see another uh, label which is full picture label okay map this full picture label where we got the uh, link of the photo that we have posted on Facebook okay so the media category is image that is selected now you can check your connection with Twitter by clicking on save and send test request and you will see a new uh, tweet here on your uh, Twitter handle let me open the profile so this is uh, my Twitter handles profile okay now let me click on save and send test request and let's see what happens okay so you can see this is the response we have received here let's let me show you in Twitter if we got a new tweet created let me refresh my feed and you can see a new tweet is created here like this with the same photo that we have here in Facebook you can see this one is here and now it got posted here with the same caption you can see easily connect multiple applications to automate your task this was the caption here and the same caption got uh, attached here okay so that is how you can uh, automate the flow between Facebook and Twitter now I'm going to connect uh, LinkedIn in this uh, another step I will just click on this plus icon and now in the action step search for LinkedIn okay and in the action event select share an article or URL option okay then click on connect from this window select and new connection then click on connect with LinkedIn okay so it is asking for me to sign up so you so sign in sorry so you have to put the password and uh, sign in here so you can see I got connected by signing in okay now it is asking for the author's name so this is my LinkedIn profile and the author's name is Ashi Rai so you have to select the name as Ashi the content and the article you are in the visibility so here again I'm going to use the data that we have received from the Facebook from the first step so for the content just click here and from this first step map the same message label from where we got the uh, caption okay so you will get the message label here this one map it for the article URL go to Facebook step and uh, map this link this one action zero link label map it this is the article URL and the visibility you make it public you want to show it to only connections you can uh, use these options I am making it public okay now let's check our connection with LinkedIn so I am clicking here on save and send test request and let's see what happens so this is the ID label we have received here let's check in LinkedIn if we got a new post created so I'm refreshing the feed again so here you can see 
a new post got created here with this caption easily connect multiple applications to automate your task this was the uh, thing i have mapped here in the content and we have the article url as well here in linkedin and when you click on it you will reach the facebook pages post okay so this is how you can connect linkedin with facebook right now it's time to uh, post the content of facebook media on tumblr for that to happen click on this plus icon and connect tumblr here so search for tumblr this is it select it and in the action event now you have to select uh, create text post option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection then click on connect with tumblr so uh, as i have already logged in in tumblr also it is just asking uh, for giving Pabli Connect request uh, permissions to access the Tumblr account. So just click on allow and it will be connected with Tumblr. So you can see we are connected now. And here it is asking to select your blog. So let me show you. This is my blog guys named as Pavli. To select it from here. So guys after selecting your blog here you need to enter the link of the photo and the caption and all these things to create a photo post on tumblr okay in the action event you have to select photo post create photo post not text post because we got a photo here in this post in facebook okay so after selecting this for create photo post select the blog now it is asking for these things so guys for this photo i am going to use this step which is the twitter step okay not the facebook step because here in the twitter when you uh, when you post a tweet in Twitter in the response you will receive this label let me show you the media file oh, sorry not this one <clears throat> you will get this label media zero URL HTTPS so here you will get this media URL with this with this uh, HTTP leading address okay so to post a photo in tumblr we need to have the uh, media link in this format with the HTTP leading HTTP address and the uh, type of photo which is the extension .png okay so I'm going to use this label to post the photo in tumblr so I'm going to click here in photo step and from this twitter I'm going to map the media URL label which is this okay in the caption you can use the first step and map the message that you got which is here right and if you want to put a click through link you can put a tag you can put a custom url and all the things now let me show you how the post will appear in tumblr i am going to click on save and send test request and new post will be created here in your tumblr account okay so I'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens and you can see this is the response we have received let's check in tumblr if we got a new post created and here you can see we got a new post created here with the same image and the same caption that we have mapped here like this okay so this is how it is going to work in real time guys so you just have to create a post in facebook page and the same post will be created on tumblr on linkedin and on twitter automatically okay so you need not to do anything manually here it will it will work automatically and you have to set up this automation only once let me give you a quick recap guys first of all connect trigger uh, connect facebook page in the trigger after that capture the post uh, content like this after that connect twitter in the action step and map the data like this to create a post in twitter after that connect linkedin in another action step and map the data like this and then connect tumblr <coughs> and map the data like this so when you map the data like this what will happen whenever you post a new post in facebook these labels are going to change and a new post will be created in all social media media platforms together okay and guys the best part is you can use this same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instant. Hey everyone, in this video you will learn to generate a tweet for your new RSS feeds automatically and share that RSS feed along with a tweet on Twitter automatically. 
and we are going to set up this automation by connecting RSS feeds feature of Pavli in the trigger and then open AI in the action step and then Twitter in another action step in the automation workflow and we are going to set up this whole automation without any coding super easily. So let's start. So we are going to build this no code automation workflow inside Pabli Connect. So this is the landing page of Pabli and I have pasted the same link in the description as well. And from here you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. Okay. And from this dashboard, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the workflow. And here I'm giving the name to this workflow as um, share RSS feeds on Twitter using open AI. Okay. And after giving this name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow is getting ready here. And on this workflow page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So trigger here is that application in which the trigger event is going to occur. Okay. So the trigger event is going to start this workflow and the action would be the consequence of the trigger or the response towards the trigger. Okay. So in this use case, suppose that you are running a website and in on that website, you are sharing your articles on RSS feeds. Okay. So here we are going to connect RSS by Pabli feature of Pabli Connect and that is going to capture the details of your RSS feeds here in this workflow. So that will act as a trigger and the action towards that trigger would be to generate a tweet for that same RSS feed using OpenAI and after that in another action step we are going to share the same tweet on Twitter. Okay. So let's build this. So First of all, I am going to search for RSS feature of Pabli Connect. Here it is. All right. And the trigger event would be new item in the feed. Okay. All right. Then click on connect. And here it is asking for the feed URL. So here you have to paste this kind of a URL. This means the URL of your RSS website. Okay. So right now I'm going to show you an example of this website. It's a, a news website and I'm going to use this health RSS section. Okay. So this is the health RSS section you can see. All right. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to copy the link of this RSS feed like this and I'm going to paste this feed URL here. All right. And now click on save and send test request button and the most recent RSS feeds data will be captured here. And here you can see guys, this we have received this title viral video. This street food ally in Japan is stray Raraha movie set. This is the title we have received. Let's check if we have this uh, feed in the RSS. Yes, this is the most recent RSS feed we have in our website. Okay. And that the same got captured here. This is the publishing date. This is the link of the feed and this is the content snippet. Okay. And this is the whole content actually, right? Now guys, uh, I want to share this uh, article that I have created that I have written in my RSS on my Twitter handle. And for that, I want to create a small tweet as well. So to generate a small tweet for this article, I'm going to use open AI application. So open AI guys is an artificial intelligence based content generation tool. Okay. You must have know about it. So uh, I'm going to search for open AI here. Here it is. And the action event would be generate content. Then click on connect. And from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the API key of open AI application. So you will find this API key by clicking on this help text written in blue or what you can do you just you can just open your open AI applications dashboard like this and from this profile section you can click on view API keys and you will find the key here like this. 
or you can generate a new key by clicking on this create new secret key button and here's how the key will be generated you just have to copy this click on ok and paste this here in the token field all right and then click on save and you will be connected with open ai right we are connected and here it is asking for the artificial intelligence model that you want to use to generate the content so um, in open ai there are several models of uh, uh, artificial intelligence algorithms or the codes uh, by which you can generate the uh, content that you want to generate okay so the most used model is this text davinci 002 model so i'm going to select this only and here it is asking for a prompt so guys to uh, to give a command to open ai to do the things for you you have to provide a prompt okay so prompt is a kind of command that you can provide to open ai to automatically generate any kind of content using artificial intelligence technology okay so you can just click on support prompts format here on the help text and you can see how the prompts work in open ai okay so let me show you just an example uh, so i want to generate a shareable uh, i want to generate a tweet for sharing my uh, content that i have uh, published on rss feed of my website okay so for that i am going to provide a prompt here let me type a prompt so guys i have written this prompt here for open ai i have commanded open ai to write a playful and short tweet to share my new article that has a title and the description and don't repeat the title only use maximum two hashtags don't include urls that's obvious okay because i'm going to share the url of my own feed on twitter and do not use a uh, v word use i or me because i am a single person this is this is a very specific prompt i have provided to open ai to generate a specific content so you have to provide the prompts smartly okay you will uh, learn the giving the prompts when you practice it okay and here guys in the title and the rss description section i am going to map this title that i have received here in the first step okay and the content snippet label as well so when you map these things here let me first show you how to map the data so you just have to click here so you can see i have inserted the double apostrophe uh, apostrophe commas here and between these apostrophe commas i am going to uh, map the data so you just have to click here in between the commas and the first tab will appear in the drop down like this and when you click on it you will see all the data here only so from here i'm going to first map the title you can see the title got, got mapped here the title label similarly in the description i'm going to map uh, the content snippet label okay so this is a small content snippet about my title okay so when you map the labels here like this what will happen after setting up this automation in real time whenever i am going to publish a new rss feed these labels here are going to change are going to be updated according to my feed and new content new tweets will be generated using open ai okay according to the mapped labels right that's why we map the things here right and here it is asking for the tokens so tokens are the maximum number of words that you want to generate so the default value of those words are 256 in twitter we also have a limit of 280 words of uh, tweets so i'm going to put the limit here as let's say 280 only okay the default value is 256 now it is asking for the sampling type so guys artificial intelligence uses sampling technology to generate content so there are two type of samplings here temperature or nucleus i'm using temperature only that's a default value okay you can provide sampling value between 0 to 1 here default value is 0.7 i'm going to put the sampling value as 0.8 okay you can put any random value as well all right so you can leave this penalty and frequency penalty uh, fields blank these are not compulsory things and you can provide a stop sequence also so so stop sequence are provided to uh, inform artificial intelligence that all right now you have to stop at this sequence okay so you can just uh, use a random uh, verse random uh, symbols and verse 
for providing stop sequence as you have you can see in the example so i'm just putting it here like this <clears throat> okay best of option so here when you select best of one two three or five it is going to resample the content and give you the best of three or five um, among the contents that have been generated so i'm going to select here three so we can get the best quality content okay now you can click on save and send test request button and artificial is going to artificial intelligence is going to work for you and generate a tweet for you let's see what happens so now you can see guys in the response section we got this kind of response the it is showing uh, the id and the object as text completion and the model used is this and so in this choices zero text label guys you can see the actual content that has been generated for us and this is a tweet uh, created by openai for us so it is showing this street food ally from japan is so amazing it looks like straight out of movie set okay so this is kind of a similar uh, thing that has been generated and this was our title and this is how it is it has generated the tweet for us so you can uh, use this for sharing the tweet now for sharing the tweet you just have to click here and another action step will open up and here in this action step i'm going to connect with twitter so you have to search for twitter and then select the action event as create tweet then click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with twitter all right so if you're logged in in your twitter account it will ask you to authorize this application to make this connection so click on authorize app all right so it will take a few moments like this so your authorization is successful and we are connected with twitter so now guys taking this automation one step forward what i want now that uh, we are using an artificial intelligence tool to create tweets for us but there is a possibility in future that our tweet will not be shared due to some technical errors or issues so we are going to uh, ensure uh, the posting of tweet we are i want actually that if in case my tweet doesn't get shared i should receive a, e a email on over my email inbox informing me that my tweet is not shared and if it is shared i also want to receive a notification email telling me that my tweet is already shared okay so for that first of all uh, i am going to map the details i have used here i have created here i have generated here using open ai and i am going to share a tweet and after that i am going to create two routes for two conditions one condition is that the tweet is actually shared and so the second condition is that there is some error in this step and the tweet doesn't get shared okay so for that for that condition in which there is an error we are going to deliberately generate an error here okay let me show you how so first of all to share a tweet we are going to click here and you can see the previous steps are appearing here in the drop down so from this open ai step i am going to map the choices text label to create a tweet and after this i'm i also want to share the link of my rss seed which which you will find here in the first step so map the link as well okay now click on save and send test request button to check your connection with twitter and a test tweet will be shared from your profile let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request button and this is the response we have received let me show you in my profile if we got a new tweet so this is my profile and here let me refresh this page and here we got a new tweet you can see and this tweet is saying this street food alley from japan is so amazing it looks like straight out of a movie set okay and there is a uh, link attached here you can see there's not a proper link let me just give a space here between the text so the link will be shared properly let me click on save and send test request again all right now let's see
And now you can see this is how the tweet will be shared. This is the tweet. This is the content generated with the help of OpenAI with two hashtags. And this is the link of my RSS feed. Okay. Now guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on save and send test request button one more time. And it will show me an error because our Twitter action doesn't post duplicate messages. Okay. So we have already shared this message as a tweet. Now when I'm going to click on save and send test request button, it will show me an, a duplication error. Let me show you. So here you can see now it is showing error code label and the error messages status is a duplicate. Okay, so I have, we have deliberately done this because now I am going to click here on this plus icon and from this action step, I am going to use this router. So router creates conditional paths for different kind of conditions. So here you can see when you choose router, it will show you two routes here like this. And from the set filter and action steps button, you can create conditional routes. So first condition is that we have received an error. There is a technical error and we have received this error code label here in the previous step. So when this label arrives, that means we have some error. Okay. So this is our first condition. So click on set filter and action steps. And I'm going to apply the first condition here using the filter. So I'm going to select this label here from this last step, the error code label. So when, whenever there is an error, this label is going to exist in the response. So I'm going to select the filter type as exist. So whenever this error code label exists, that means we got some error. So when this error arrives, let me click on save and send test request button here. You can see the condition is true. We got an error. So when, whenever there is an error, I want to receive an email. So to receive an email, just click here on this plus icon. And from here, I'm going to search for Gmail application to receive or send an email to myself. Okay. And the action event would be send email. Click on connect. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Gmail. From this window, you have to select that Gmail account by which you want to send the email to your team member or to yourself or to any other person. So I'm selecting an email account here. Okay. You can see the authorization is successful. And here you can uh, enter the email address of any recipient to whom you want to send this email. So let's say I have a team member who resolves these kind of issues, who is expert in automation. So I want to inform him about that automation errors. So this is the email address of that automation expert. Okay. Sender's name is my name. I'm just putting my name here. Email subject tweet tweet error update or Twitter status update tweet status update. Okay. Right. And here I'm selecting the email content type as plain. And here let me type an email for sending this issue. So this is a kind of tweet I have. Uh, uh, this is a kind of email I have written. Dear expert, this is to inform you that some tech due to some technical error, your automated tweet couldn't be shared. Please check your automation workflow to resolve the issue. Okay. Now you can check your connection also uh, with, with Gmail application by clicking on save and send test request button. And this email will be delivered to this email address. Okay. This email address. So this is not an originally address. I'm going to uh, mention my address there and I'll show you the email. Okay. So here guys, you can click on save and send test request or you can just save this step. I'm just saving this step for now and I'm closing this step. And right now I'm going to copy this same step because the second route will be similar to this route. We are just going to change the filter uh, label. Okay. So I'm just clicking here on the three dots and here we have this clone step option. Click on clone, then click on clone again. And you can see the same route get uh, cloned one more time. Now you can delete this third route. Okay. And in this cloned route, I'm going to just click on set filter and action steps. And I'm going to change this filter condition here. So when we are going to, uh, when there is new, no issue in tweeting or sharing the tweet, 
there will be no error code level in the response of the Twitter step. Okay, so I'm just going to change the filter type here. And I'm going to change the filter type as does not exist. So when there is an, uh, no issue, there will be no error code label in the response. Now click on save and send test request button. And here you can see that it's showing the condition is false. Because here, uh, right now, we have deliberately created an error. Okay. Now, uh, the email is going to, is also going to change. Now the email is something like this. Let me change the email. So I have changed this email like this. This is to inform you that your automated tweet just got shared from your Twitter handle. You can check it from your Twitter account. Okay. Now let's check the email connection guys. I'm going to click on save and send test request and I'll show you how the test email is going to look like. So let's say this is the email inbox of the automation expert to whom we want to inform about the tweets. And here I'm clicking on save and send test request button. Let's see if this account receives an email. So, so this is the response we have received guys and I have received a new email as well. And you can see the name is my name. The subject is tweet status update. And here you can see the mail is this dear expert. This is to inform you that you your automated tweet just got shared from your Twitter handle. You can check it from your Twitter account. So this is I have sent this email. This is a test email. I have just sent it to check our connection and it's working fine. And you can see we got the same email with the same subject details and the sender's name details. So our what is, our automation is complete and this is how you can uh, set up this. And you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow. After that, it is going to run automatically whenever you are going to share a new RSS feed on your website or you can share the RSS feeds of any other websites as well. A tweet will be generated out of OpenAI application and the same will be shared on your Twitter handle and if there is any issue you will receive an update on email and also you will receive these kind of sharing confirmation emails as well. And guys you can use the same workflow as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free Pabbly Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.